Ever heard about benign prostatic hyperplasia and wondered how common it is among men? Well, let's delve into it. Benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH for short, is a condition characterized by the periurethral hyperplasia of stroma and epithelium in the prostatic transition zone. Prostatic smooth muscle cells play a significant role in this hyperplasia. The exact cause remains unknown, but we do know that dihydrotestosterone converted from testosterone by 5-alpha reductase is required. So BPH is not just an unknown condition but a common one affecting many men worldwide. Now that we know what BPH is, let's delve into how common this condition is and its clinical features. As we age, our bodies undergo various changes. One such change for men is the enlargement of the prostate, a condition known as benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH. This condition is age-related and incredibly common. It's estimated that half of all men in their 50s will experience BPH, and that number jumps to 80% for men in their 80s. In fact, one in four men will eventually require treatment for this condition. When we talk about the clinical features of BPH, we're referring to the symptoms and physical changes that occur as a result of this condition. These symptoms primarily result from outlet obstruction and compensatory changes in detrusor function. Men with BPH may experience voiding symptoms such as hesitancy, straining, a weak or interrupted stream, and a feeling of incomplete bladder emptying. Storage symptoms can also occur including urgency, frequency, nocturia, and urgency incontinence. These are thought to be due to detrusor overactivity and decreased bladder compliance. A digital rectal exam or DRE can provide further clues. In cases of BPH, the prostate will feel smooth, rubbery, and symmetrically enlarged. But BPH isn't just uncomfortable, it can also lead to complications such as urinary retention, overflow incontinence, hydronephrosis infection, gross hematuria, and even bladder stones. Understanding these clinical features is crucial because they help us identify the condition. Recognizing the symptoms of BPH and seeking medical advice is the first step towards getting appropriate treatment. To sum up, BPH is a common condition in older men, and it can cause a range of uncomfortable and even serious symptoms. However, with early recognition and treatment, it can be managed effectively. Understanding the clinical features of BPH is crucial in identifying the condition and seeking appropriate treatment. To diagnose benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH for short, several investigations are undertaken. Let's discuss these and the AUA prostate symptom score. First, we delve into the patient's history, assessing lower urinary tract symptoms, LUTS, and their impact on the patient's quality of life. Self-administered questionnaires such as the International Prostate Symptom Score, IPSS, or the AUA Symptom Index, may be used to gauge the severity, progression, and response to treatment. A physical examination is also conducted, including a digital rectal examination or DRE. Here the prostate is felt for any abnormalities such as being smooth, rubbery, or symmetrically enlarged. A urinalysis or UA is performed to rule out a urinary tract infection. Other tests include a creatinine test and renal ultrasound to check for hydronephrosis, which is a condition characterized by excess fluid in a kidney, due to a backup of urine. The prostate-specific antigen or PSA test is also conducted to rule out malignancy. Optional tests like uroflometry to measure flow rate and post-void residual or PVR are also performed. For potential surgical management, a cystoscopy is performed, and if there's a suspicion of malignancy, a biopsy is taken. Now let's discuss the AUA prostate symptom score. This scoring system plays a vital role in assessing the severity of BPH. It is based on seven symptoms. Frequency, urgency, nocturia, weak stream, intermittency, straining, and incomplete feeling of emptying. Each symptom is graded out of five. A score of zero to seven indicates mild symptoms, eight to 19 suggest moderate symptoms, and a score of 20 to 35 is indicative of severe symptoms. Remember, dysuria, or painful urination, is not included in the score, but it is commonly associated with BPH. In conclusion, these investigations and scoring systems are crucial in diagnosing BPH and determining the appropriate treatment. They help us gain a comprehensive understanding of the patient's condition, guiding us toward the most effective course of action. Armed with this knowledge, we can better manage BPH and improve patient's quality of life. BPH is a common condition among men, especially as they age. We've discussed its epidemiology, clinical features, and the investigations used to diagnose it. It's crucial to understand this condition and to seek medical advice if any symptoms arise. Remember, periurethral hyperplasia, voiding and storage symptoms, and a smooth rubbery prostate upon examination are key features. 
Awareness is the first step towards prevention and treatment. Subscribe to our channel MedSign Health 360 for more medical insights and share your thoughts in the comments section.